Today I've been asked the question, how do you change out a syrup pump? Well, there are quite an easy thing to do. First of all, there are two different types of syrup pumps mainly used in Australia. The Flowjet model and the Shoreflow model. Uh, both a little bit different to each other. Uh, Coke uses mainly the Flowjet. Schweppes, well you can see either basically. Now, been asked how do I know it's this one's buggered. First of all, if these ones die, there is usually, th well there's always going to be three cables hooked up to it minimum. There's going to be gas in, liquid in and liquid out. So the gas pushes the liquid through the pump and sends it to your guns. Now on the flow jet they're all connected to the bottom, two connected to this manifold at the bottom and one in this hole here. Now if the flow jet dies what you'll get is air or CO2 coming out this exhaust valve which can quite usually be covered and vented to outside. So the way you test it is you pull off whatever's covering that and if CO2 is pouring out of that then your pump's bugging. So how do I change it? Okay as I said before there are three tubes going in. Now one here by itself and two connected to the manifold. First thing you do is disconnect the gas. The gas is the small one here usually have a copper fitting on it so turn your gas bottle off and on the bottom there is a slide. On the new ones it just slides sideways and the gas fitting will pop out. On the older style there is a stainless steel hook with a Phillips head bit holding it in place. So you just push the hook backwards and pop that out. That gets the gas off. Next, using usually a Phillips head, sorry a flathead screwdriver, there are three more, hook, three more slide latches. One here, pop that one out. There is, that'll take out your fitting all ready to go back in the next one that can be actually put straight into the new pump and reconnected same way put it in and slide the latch into place next manifold there are two latches holding in place one here and one located here underneath this bit just using a flathead screwdriver you pop both of these sideways and remove the whole manifold. Manifold. Now this will have at least one cable hooked up to it, if not two, depending if you remove the gas or not. And just put this straight back into the new pump and slide the clips back into place. And that's it. That's all you have to do to change that one out. That way you've changed over the three cables. Make sure you put the gas back into this one and then whoop, slide this crossways back into place. If they've got the shore flow pump, easy enough. Three, three lines. Top one, which is usually yellow, sometimes blue, depending on how old it is, is your gas. So just pop that sideways and the top one will pop out. Next one, you'll have to pop this one sideways and pop that one out, and the bottom one, pop that sideways and pop the bottom one out. Throw this away, put the new one back, everything goes back inside it, and they will clip back into place with the new fittings in it. Now when these ones buggered, go bugger, they usually don't spit gas out, which they can do through this exhaust port here, but you'll find that they'll usually just keep clicking and click, 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 and not pumping anything. That's basically all you've got to do to change out a syrup pump. Good luck.